In this video, you're going to learn how to make the logo animation that you see on the screen. You could use this animation as an intro as well at the beginning of your videos. So choose new composition and choose the standard settings. Give it a name. Hit OK and by going over here to this icon, create another composition and call this placeholder. Hit OK create another composition, call this logo, hit OK, and now go to logo composition and drop our logo over here. And we are going to give this a white color. So go to effects and presets, type in fill, give it a white color, double click on fill and change this color to white. And press S to scale it down to around 30. And now go back to project panel and double click on placeholder, drop our logo composition to it. And now we want to draw four rectangles over here to match our logo. So go to rectangle tool and start drawing. While not having any of this layer selected, draw a rectangle like that. We will move this somewhere over here and go to the settings of the layer. So open rectangle one, rectangle path one, and we want to animate the position of it. So go to first second. And if you're not sure if, if you're at the first second, then just look over here on the left. I'll zoom in to show you over here. So set a keyframe to position over here and go to the beginning and play with its, move its Y position until it's out of the camera. And now we will be getting an animation like this, but this is boring. So we will select those keyframes, press F9 and go to graph editor. If your graph editor doesn't look like this, then right click and select edit speed graph and make an adjustment to the curve like this so it will come fast and slow down at the end so let's see our animation so far so good and we will duplicate those four times three times i mean until we have four so ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d and select all of those press p and now we select the second shape only and play with its X position to match our logo. Select third one and move its X position. And same for the fourth one. And now I'll pull the logo up to see if it matches our look. So it's kind of fine and I will select all of those shapes and by going over here to align and by clicking to this icon it will it will match the gaps it will make the gaps equal so i'll click on that and as you can see the gaps are equal so next we don't want this to come at the same time so we are going to shift the transition for those. So go to over here on the left, go to second layer and type in over here five. and move this shape layer two over here. So go to third shape and type in 10. Move this third on the 10th frame. So, and go to fourth one, type in 15. So it moves 15 frames and move this while holding shift over here. So they come all at different times. So I'll put this logo down now.
And now we want to create three more copies of the logo. So control D, control D, control D. So we have four logos as well. And we want to make those in a row. So it should be like that. So logo, shape layer, logo, shape layer, logo, shape layer. And we are going to shift the transitions for logos as well. So go to type in over here five. So it moves by five frames and move the logo over here. Go to this other logo and type in 10. Move the logo to 10th frame. Same for this one, type in 15 and move this over here. Go to the next one, type in 20 and move this over here. Let's check our animation. And now we want to select all the logos while holding control and clicking on logos only. We select logos and we will set the track mat of those to alpha mat. Let's have a look at our animation again. We'll get something like that. And now copy, select all those shapes while holding control and clicking on shapes, select all those shapes and press control C to copy those and go to our final look logo composition and then paste those over here. Now we can see it obviously because we have them hidden because of the track mat and we are going to turn it on by going over here to this eye icon. Now we can see those, but, and we will make sure to set the first shape to at the bottom and make sure to have fourth shape at the top. So now create right click and go to new, create a new adjustment layer. And by going over here to FX and presets, Type in gradient ramp and I have these colors that I have already chosen before. So I'll copy those and paste those over here. You could do the same as well. And we will pull this points like so. And next, we are going to go to back to our project and drag our placeholder composition over here. And now let's have a look at our animation. Lastly, we are going to add a light effect to this. So create a new composition and call this light. Hit OK and drop our final look logo over here and right after it lands we want to draw a rectangle so make sure to not have anything selected go to rectangle tool and draw a light like that press r to change its y rotation like that move it somewhere over here and press p to set a keyframe to its position and at the two seconds, set a keyframe and go to like fourth second and change the position of it like that. And now we are going to copy, duplicate this final look logo. So control D and set the, set the track mat of it to alpha mat. Now we can see it, but we are going to fix it by going to effects and presets and type in fill double click on it and give a fill to our final look logo composition and now we are able to see it inside the rectangles and change the color of it to white set the opacity to around 30 and let's have a look at our logo animation
So that's it for this tutorial and this is how you make a logo animation. If you enjoyed this tutorial then subscribe to my channel, give it a like as well and I'll be seeing you on the next video.